Hello everyone and welcome to Maple Leaf ESL. My name is Andrew and thank you for joining me here today. For today's quick words lesson, I want to look at a very useful expression. So that is in the clear. So we're going to take a look at the definition for this expression as well as three different examples. Okay, so let's get started here. So we can see here for a definition, it says to be free from danger, illness, or suspicion. Okay, and I also wrote to be innocent or not guilty, okay? All right, let's look at the first example. It says, just when I thought I was in the clear before my vacation, I caught a cold, right? Okay, so imagine, I'm gonna take a vacation in a couple of days, right? Maybe like next week, okay? And I want to be healthy on this vacation, right? I want to be in the clear, but I caught a cold. So I'm gonna be sick on my vacation here maybe, right? So I'm not gonna be in the clear for my vacation, right? I'm gonna be sick, right? So I'm not gonna be free from illness, okay? All right, second example. We thought our uncle was going to die until the doctor told us he was in the clear, okay? So imagine my uncle, he's in a big car accident. It's very serious, right? We think maybe he's going to die, but the doctor tells us, no, he's not gonna die, right? He's in the clear, right? He will live. He's free from the danger of dying, basically. So that's what that one means. Okay, and one last example, because the evidence was so weak, the suspect was in the clear, right? Remember, a suspect is somebody we think committed a crime, right? That's a suspect, okay? So the evidence is weak, right? There is not very much proof that this person committed the crime, so the suspect is in the clear, right? So the suspect is free from suspicion or is innocent or not guilty, right? So this person did not do the crime or at least there's not enough evidence to prove that this person did the crime, okay? All right, I wanna challenge you to try and make your own sentence using this expression and if you have a good one, please put it in the comments section below. Okay, so that is the end of today's lesson. Thank you so much for joining me here today at Maple Leaf ESL, and I really look forward to seeing you again next time.